Dave, three points at the Vic. Another win at the Vic. Unbeaten run continues. Give us your overall, overall assessment. No, brilliant. Absolutely delighted. Um, not a good habit to get into, winning games from losing positions. Uh, and we, we've spoken to the players about that. But at the end, the feeling of winning a game when it's gone in the way it has um, makes it all that more special. Um, we've had not many issues, don't get me wrong, and um, with imposing our system on teams when they've played with a three, I, I thought, I thought first off, we, we were miles off it. And, and listen, that's credit to them. They they impose their shape on us miles better than we did on, ours on them. Um, we were sloppy in terms of our play. I thought we didn't help each other out. I thought we, at times, left each other in the mire a little bit on the ball. Um, in saying that, we had the best opportunity for the, for the first half in terms of um, Dale sliding Will through. We tweaked it a little bit in terms of dropping moles in, which gave us a little bit more, more joy. Um, and I suppose at that point, I'm, I'm, I'm still tempted to potentially change our shape. Um, start the second half, much of the same continues. They score, we equalise straight away. And then you've got a choice to make as to whether you potentially let the game continue in the way it is or whether you make a, a positive change we tried to do that we changed our shape and i thought the impact the subs had was, was was really really good you hope as a as a manager when you do that that works out and that was definitely the definitely the case and um like i said brilliant goal we scored unfortunate for the opportunity prior to that that, that we missed and then we we have to we have to defend and um i suppose like I said, that whole process makes the the win and the atmosphere in the dressing room all that more special. We'll come on to them specific changes that you made. But you talk about the first half. Obviously, I know we had that clear quick chance, but Northampton really putting the pressure on and pressed us hard the field, and it looks like they were obviously on the front foot. What was the message at half time to really try and turn that game around? Like I said, I thought we were miles off it. So forget the fact we were a little bit sloppy in possession and we played against the team that that, that pressed against us. Um, they pressed against us underloaded um, and, and we still had more more numbers to be able to play out. Um, we didn't do that well enough and we played not and played into their hands. We didn't play our game well enough um, and it put us on the back foot and we were lucky to be nil-nil. Um, certainly with some instances within the, within the game. Um, you then have a decision to make and especially at home um, you probably what well, I say want to stamp your style on the on the game and want to be in control that way. Um, and like I said, we, we could have made the change after after 20 minutes. If I'm honest, you don't want to do that. Um, we ended up making the change after the first the first two goals. But we knew that regardless of what we did in terms of playing out, like I said, I just, I just felt they were they were better than us. Um, I don't think we won any individual battles. I don't think it's the players all time. I don't think anyone could come in and say. I've had the better of my man or my unit have had the better of their unit I'm up against and that's not a good recipe for being successful in football matches. Second half, we were better. We were better when we simplified a little bit and, and changed, changed our shape which gave us um, individual roles and responsibilities that the players took on like I say clearer and, like, and, the, and the subs as I said made, made a big impact in the game. I just wanted to obviously go back to the first goal. I know we made the change when four back but when we were playing with our wing backs Jamie Sturry, we talk about his class every single week. A delicious ball at the back post, and your other wing back, David Ferguson, coming flying, who's recently just returned to the side. And is that just show how important them two have been here? And one's there to deliver the ball, and the other one's stood in the box like a striker, waiting to head it in the back. Well, they, they both have license to get forward. Um, they both good in terms of assists that they create. And I've said quite openly they need to score more goals. They've got one each now. Um, I hope it can be a like I say, they can have a little bit of a. I suppose a battle in terms of getting goals, but with the quality they have, they should and they have license to get themselves get themselves in there. It was important, like I say, once they scored for us to to sort of bounce back and to get the goal back as quickly as we did, really change the momentum and give us a lift. Um, like I say, we, we built upon that in terms of them trying to be positive and making positive changes uh, on the on the back of it to try and really tap into what the supporters were giving us there were times when it became a little bit a little bit of a lull and, and I get that 
in the first half. I've said before, it's our responsibility to make sure they're in the game. Um, the back end of the game was was brilliant, and they were right in it. Um, and, and thankfully, we got over the line. The second goal, and I want to specifically mention him. You talk about how well you substituted, but Joel Gray. I feel like we spoke about him continuously for six months. How's he getting on? Has he made any progress? You know, is how's the injury doing? And he, it's been a long journey for him, and obviously he's still got a long journey to go. But eighteen year old, he's come on. And, it really felt like a lot of people saying he changed the game and obviously made the goals. How pleased are you for him? Yeah, it, it, listen, we we put a lot of um, hope, expectation, responsibility into into Joe, and he's been um, even as a young a young player, really young player, been, been a big miss for us. And um, we have wanted him back, but we knew we'd not been able to, to rush. Um, he'll be disappointed he didn't score because he had an opportunity very similar to the one he set up at the back stick, um, which then forced the mole. Somehow it's the bar and we miss. Um, but he's he's a nuisance. He um, he wriggles. He gets himself into good areas. Um, he doesn't give people a minute's a minute's, pe- uh, minute's rest. Um, and he's got quality, and it's a brilliant ball in, in, into the back stick. And, and to be fair to Moles, it's a brilliant finish on, it, on, it, on his right foot. Um, worthy of, like I say, of, of winning the game. Thankfully for us, it, it did. Um, we we've just got to be careful now with with Joe and um, and how we we build his his minutes up because we want to make sure he's an important player for us for 30 games, not just three. Um, so. Hopefully there's no reaction adverse to um, the little spell he's had there. We'll manage him carefully over the next next few weeks, but that's a little, I suppose, snippet of, of, of what he can do. Um, and like I say, as somebody who we've got real belief and faith in, hopefully he can have a, a bigger impact moving forward. I just wonder, I know we mentioned him before, but Luke Molyneux, he spoke a few weeks ago, he said Luke Molyneux needs to find his own quality in this team, and he's come up with another goal at the Vic again. Is it a case of he's improving every week for you as, as a man who's almost playing up front? He's, listen, he's an important player for us because uh, you, you look at it and, and we can be critical of which we all are and go, we're looking for a striker that's going to score us the volume of goals that we, that we need. It, it might not be a, a striker. Um, we've Dales has got himself some goals midfield. We've obviously got Gav coming back, Moles, Joe. We, we've got people that have quality. <laughs> Um, you've got to turn that quality into putting the ball in the, in the net, and you, like I say, you are going to be judged on judged on numbers. For him to get another goal, brilliant, different type of goal for him. Um, we've spoken about getting into into those areas, um, and he's done that. And, and again, you look at us changing us changing our shape. We've got our front three in terms of Joe cutting inside and putting a, a ball into the back stick for the other the opposite opposite wide player, if you like. So, it's brilliant, brilliant to get three points um, in a, in a game where. We've had to show um, some, some some character in, in adversity, especially after the first half performance. How pleased are you though? It, it seems like a different <coughs> type of win for us. When you, I suppose when you compared to the Warsaw game, where we've dominated quite a lot, it, it's a different type of win where we've really had to work hard, come from behind, and really grind a result out. But that must be really pleased to see we can win in different types of ways. We, we need to show that. I, I've said, and, I, and I've, I've been critical about it before. I, I look back, and there are times over. Um, the course where we've conceded the first goal and the last game we won was Yeovil at home funny enough that was when Joe came on and set, set Gav up for the for, for the winner and we scored two goals in the last 10 minutes to win that's the last time we won after after we conceded the first goal so the the character is there within the players and the resilience is there you have to be able to drag it out at the times when it's needed and you need to be able to drag it out of other people and everyone's responsible for that um, and the, the ones that are going to be important are the ones on the pitch because ultimately we can try and do it from the side and the supporters can try and do it from the, the, the external parts of the, of, of the pitch but they're involved in in what goes on and, and, the, and the key decisions so like I say to win in a way where we've probably been average from our perspective and that's like I say that's not taking Northampton were very good but average for 55 minutes and then win the game in the last 30 minutes due to, I suppose, changes and changing shape a little bit and the players going and really having that belief to be able to go and win the game is is is, is brilliant. Um, and it, it does, it, 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 it is a different type of win and it has a different feeling. Although it's three points, the atmosphere within the ground at the end knows that that's a game where we've really 
work to get those get those three points. They're still as valuable as any other win. Um, but we've got to, like I said, we've got to make sure it doesn't become a habit in terms of having to do that. But we've got to show that we've got that within us. Just finally, uh, we have a new man within the management team. We've come from behind to win over five thousand people in the Vic. Is that Perfect Saturday for Dave Chalmers. Uh, yeah, brilliant. Um, absolutely. I, I knew this place. I knew the place would be bouncing. Um, we're going to come up against good teams in this league, um, and Northampton are a good team. So, like I say, for us to to find a way um, and, and get three points for Clint to be in the, the dugout for, for his first game and uh, and and see what this place is about will again will be will be really good. I, I just spoke to Sky there, Neil Mellon, and spoke about. The atmosphere within the ground, and that's someone who's been to, you know, what I mean, to big stadiums and normally doing Premier League games, not League Two games. But for him to, like I say, to comment shows what um, what the place and that the impact the place has on people that are coming here, um, and the supporters play a play a huge part in that. We have to make sure we keep our keep our run going. It's a, a run that we're really proud of, a run that we've worked, worked really hard to, to get. And, and no one's going to come here and, and get a get an easy ride in order to go here with anything. Dave, thanks very much. Cheers, thank you.